Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my patio. And today we're talking about the September 1964 issue of World Harvest Magazine. And that's what I have right here. And these series of videos that I'm doing, I am offering a free PDF download of these historic magazines, which good luck in finding any of these issues, unless somebody received them back then and saved all the issues like my parents did. I doubt that these are even available. There's a lot of items in here, articles by Dr. Lester Sumrall, that are not available anywhere else. Um, people have asked me about the, the snippet of music that I play at the beginning of these World Harvest broadcasts. And what that is, that is a quartet that was led by my father uh, at the South Bend Calvary Temple. Okay, he had a quartet there called the Temple Heirs, and uh, he always he always had a quartet in Doctor Sumrall's church there, and he was actually uh, one of Brother Sumrall's favorite singers there at the church. And Brother Sumrall would often ask him to sing or to uh, or to get something together for him, and he was actually the first music director at the church in South Bend, which was built in, I believe, 1966, 1967, which is Bethel Temple, which became Christian Center, which is what it still is to this day. But my father was the first music director there and choir director. But that song is from a collection of recordings that I have from that era, from many of the different quartets that my father did. So that's what that is. That's actually my dad and his brother, my uncle, and two other gentlemen that went to the church there. Okay? A little bit of background on that music that I play at the beginning. It's an actual quartet uh, from Brother Sumrall's church. Now, in this issue, on the cover... This is a picture of what they call the Unisphere, which was at the New York World's Fair, I guess, back then. And it was made by U.S. Steel. And what he says here about the cover, he says that, that symbol there, the striking photo of the Unisphere, symbolizes our world and its people today, a world sick unto death and in need of divine remedy. Amen. Then there's a little article right inside the front cover, which he did every month. It's just a small article from him called Pulling Together. And it just talks about teamwork. <laughs> about pulling together in evangelism and a lot of different things. Then on page three, there's a picture here of him standing next to a stack of the speaker systems which he was selling for evangelism purposes in the Philippines, actually. And he was shipping these to the Philippines, and he was asking for assistance in the price of doing this. He says here that each of these cost about $150 back then. It was a megaphone, which is attached to a power pack that held four flashlight batteries. And then there was a tape recorder unit which could be attached to it, where you could play sermons or or whatever. I, I think this is interesting, and he talks about how how these are so important in spreading the gospel over there. And it just struck me in thinking about our technology, how now the the technology that we have that can be utilized now for nothing basically for free. All it takes is a matter of maybe paying for an internet connection. If you have an internet connection, anybody can create, say, a YouTube channel or, or something like that and 
start working in spreading the gospel around the world. Because these platforms like YouTube and Rumble and these other video companies, their reach is worldwide. So our ability now to spread the gospel for anybody to do this is so greatly increased compared to back then. Because he puts here that each one of these was around $150. And that's just to speak on a megaphone in a public place. Technology certainly has advanced since then. Now there's this long article, one of the special articles of this issue, is called, Our World is Sick Unto Death. And it's somewhat related to the front cover picture of the Unisphere. And in this article he talks about the moral decline of society. This is very interesting when you think about what was going on then in 1964 compared to what we have now. There's one paragraph here where he says, Moral decay is a symptom of sickness. Immorality is rampant among the people of the world, and our own nation is fast becoming another Sodom. Isn't that interesting? This was in 1964. I am not afraid of the marching armies of communism, but I am afraid of moral deterioration from within. And he goes on talking about all kinds of depravity, which was becoming a lot more widespread at that time, which now has incredibly, incredibly multiplied since that statement. But this article is all of page four and page five. And part of page six. It's a long article. This this isn't available anywhere else. The only place you'll get it is right here in this magazine. There's a few different little articles on here. There's one called The Healing Presence of Christ, which is about uh, some people that were healed in some of Brother Sumrall's meetings. Then there's an article here by Pastor Paul Kaufman, who was the pastor of the New Life Temple in Hong Kong called The Key to Better Race Relations. Now, in this one, he advertises a tour that he was getting ready to embark on of the Orient. And in this tour, which was scheduled for June of 1965, which would be the following year from this, uh, this tour would go to Alaska, Japan, Taipei, Hong Kong, the Philippines, and Hawaii. And it's a 19-day itinerary, he says here. And he talks a little bit about the tour, what they're going to be doing. And uh, he has a form here that you can fill out if you're interested in going. The price of this 19-day tour of the Far East over there was $500. <laughs> Very small price compared to what something like that would be today. Now, there's another big article in this magazine called Produce After Your Kind by Brother Sumrall. And this article here is about ministries or outreaches that we support should be outreaches that promote what we believe. He gives examples here about a lot of people who support these organizations that they really don't know a whole lot about. And a lot of these organizations don't really promote what the people that contribute to it believe. And he says here, I say, let the liberals produce after their kind and let the evangelicals produce after their kind. <laughs> and he just tells different stories here about people, uh, you know, giving, contributing to, to works which are not in line with their beliefs. All right. Now, at the bottom of the article, it says reprints of this article are available in attractive pamphlet form at 10 cents per copy. Or you could get them by, by in a pack of a dozen or 25. And it says here that you can get 100 of them for $5. All right. And... I was looking at that, and, it's, and it rung a bell with me, and I went and looked on my bookshelf, and sure enough, I have one of these, one of these little pamphlets, which this is the article that is in this magazine, all right? Now, he obviously had a lot of these printed up at the time and left over, 
because the things that are on this pamphlet are from back then in the 60s. Like there's an ad for World Harvest Magazine and it has some of the early 60s issues on there. And I picked this pamphlet up at a sermon that Brother Summerall taught where I was in attendance. This was around, oh, I'd say 1990 or so. That Brother Summerall preached a sermon and it was called Produce After Your Kind. And he said that's the message that he was going to preach and that he had a whole bunch of these left over and he handed them out to everybody. So I got one. And I compared it to the article in the magazine and it is the exact same as the article in the magazine. So that's interesting. And this pamphlet was probably printed back in 1964 and he had a lot of them left over and so he handed them out in the service where he taught the sermon. <laughs> Interesting. Then he advertises uh, these new study courses which he was starting to do, which was the very beginnings of the World Harvest School of Ministry, which is what it became later on when he did all of his teaching series and syllabuses and things like that. But he was offering a six-lesson teaching series. It was a correspondence course. But enjoy. Download your copy of the September 1964 issue of World Harvest Magazine. And like I said, the purpose of these videos is to offer this magazine to all of you and that it'll be a help in evangelism, in, uh, in teaching, in many different things, which is what he intended it for. So let's not let it die. Uh, let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this time together. I ask that these resources would go forth and would bless your people, would encourage them, and would help them to get new ideas for ministry and evangelism and different ways that we can spread the gospel today. And I thank you for it. Give you all the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. All righty. I love you all, and I'll see you the next time around. Bye-bye.